I'm recording this edition of the old wise guy vlog early because it's going to be a busy weekend for Beth and me. And several things I want to talk about today. The first is that Chinese spy balloon. That's an odd story. Lots of speculation about why in the world are the Chinese sending a spy balloon across the United States. When did we know that it had first entered uh, the United States? Where was our uh, national defense team? And why didn't they spot it? And then why was the White House so late in responding to it? There's been no explanation of why the uh, balloon was crossing the United States, what the Chinese were looking for. It seems to me that uh, satellite images through Google Maps would have been a much more efficient way for the Chinese to uh, spy on the United States. Here's a satellite image taken through by Google of where we used to live. Professional basketball player LeBron James had a big night on Tuesday. He broke the NBA all-time scoring record and he took it away from another legendary NBA basketball player, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm gonna take some time uh, to talk about the continuing public school controversy over diversity, equity, and inclusion. I decided that instead of giving my opinion on DEI, that I would ask a chat GPT, this uh, algorithm, this artificial intelligence, to uh, print out some pros and cons. And here they are. The pros consist of improved cultural competence and understanding. A second pro, better representation. Students have access to role models who understand and reflect their own backgrounds and experience. Three, improved academic outcomes and four, enhance problem-solving skills. So what are the cons? One, resistance to change. Two, resource constraints as a result of DEI implementation and expenses. Three, unequal implementation and unequal student outcomes. And four, bias and discrimination can still exist. Okay, those are the pros and cons courtesy of ChatGPT. But what I want to talk about is the role that the Parent Teachers Association can play and should play in talking, debating, and solving some of these controversies. Uh, many parents want to know what their children are being taught in their classes, and that makes sense. I think the PTA the Parent Teachers Association should meet regularly. Parents, teachers, and school administrators should sit down, talk about these controversies, come up with mutually acceptable solutions. Some of the demands from some parents are to censor or remove books that these parents consider objectionable, even pornographic and obscene, that are on the shelves of the libraries in the schools. That's censorship, and those books should not be removed. But there could be policies put in place to make it amenable to both uh, teachers, students, and parents. Those less controversial books should be on open shelves. Those that are potentially controversial should be on locked shelves. Uh, they could also be age and class restricted. Another suggestion is posting uh, class content, course outlines online with the uh, dates of the classes, the topics, sentence about the uh, recommended or required readings. Potty parody. You know, this is really one of the silliest debates that is taking place in many schools today. It basically is the issue of certain students who are transgender. For example, an anatomical male, he identifies as female. Instead of going to the men's bathroom, he wants to go to the women's bathroom. Well, some women feel uncomfortable and complain about it. Such an easy solution. Let's do this. Take one of your choice. This problem is solved. Uh, I should apologize to our son for getting into this particular topic. <laughs> our son studied uh, physics and has an undergraduate and advanced degrees in 
math. He and I don't agree on this particular issue necessarily. Astronomers are puzzled by some of the movements of planets and suns in far off distances in the universe. And uh, the scientists and researchers say, well, we can't explain that by what we know about gravity. Instead of these movements being adjusted or being the result of gravity, they're the result of dark matter and dark energy. But they can't see it. They can't see dark energy. They can't see dark matter. They're looking for it. They can't find it. They are convinced that it's there. Dark energy and dark matter, emperor has no clothes. There is no there there. Thank you. That's it. See you next week.